Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a quick faux. I love making faux when it gets into fall and winter. It's so delicious and nutritious. And I always have one of my homemade broths in the fridge. This is a chicken one. And I make faux with chicken and beef, but today I have chicken, so that's what I'm gonna show you. So I just made this, so it the fat solidified on the top in the fridge, so now I'm just gonna scoop that out. And then the rest is what we're gonna cook with. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get the broth going, and then after I'm gonna show you some little fun um, fillings you can add to it. Okay, so now we're gonna get our broth going. So because this is a quick faux, as I said, I'm using broth that I already made. So I have my beautiful homemade chicken broth. So I'm gonna add that. Whether I'm making faux just for myself or I'm making it for my family or an even bigger group, I use the same ingredients. I just change the amounts. Okay, so you have your broth. So to this, I'm gonna add a clove of garlic, minced. My fresh ginger. Oh, so smells amazing. So I just cut the outside off, cut it in half, and I just put the whole thing in because we're gonna strain it out later. So put that in there. I'm gonna put in a star anise, a couple cloves. So this is to infuse flavor into the already incredible <laughs> broth, which is so yummy when it's homemade. So all these flavors are gonna meld into it. Umi plum vinegar, you guys. If you haven't cooked with umi plum vinegar, it's so beautiful. It's a beautiful acid to add to your food. It's mild, it's, I just love it. I use it all the time. Cause I don't really, sometimes I don't wanna add like, you know, white vinegar or champagne vinegar or red vinegar, but umi plum vinegar has got this amazing umami. I just love it. So this is a little bit of brag amino acid. I'm gonna do a little splash of fish sauce. A little bit goes a long way. So now I'm gonna let this cook and let all the flavors blend together. And that's basically it for the broth. Okay, so we have our beautiful broth. So now what I'm gonna do is pour the broth through a strainer into a bowl. So one thing about this recipe that's so awesome is that for the holidays, we're gonna have a bunch of people coming to visit, right? So now that things are kind of pseudo moving towards normal again, um, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys will have people maybe staying with you, family, friends, whatever. This is the kind of recipe that's great and really fun for hosting for a group of people, as well as your family or your partner or just yourself. Like I'm gonna make one right now for myself, which I'm gonna show you. But if you're doing this for a bigger group, I would just put all the bowls out and I would fill it with broth and a nice helping of rice noodles. And so at everybody's place setting, just have the bowl with the broth and the noodles because it looks so pretty. And then down the center of the table, you have all your fillings. You have your chicken, this is some top sirloin that's great in a faux soup. You have all your prepped ingredients. This is just some really quick blanched broccoli to take the raw out of it. We have our snow peas, some cilantro, mushrooms, bean sprouts, and this little bit of sriracha. So I put a bunch of bowls down with the broth and the noodles. And then during dinner, everybody can pick and choose what they want and it's really fun. So for this one, I'm gonna do some steak, because this is for my lunch. I'm gonna grab some broccoli. If you're with a bunch of people, you might not wanna reach with your hands, so let's <laughs> add these tongs. We're friendly here, it's all good. You can reach in. I'm gonna do some bean sprouts, some mushrooms. I went in with my hands, <laughs> which I tend to do. When you're with your family, you guys will all reach in with your hands. And then I'm gonna top it with some cilantro. Give it a little mix. And then I'm gonna add some sriracha on the top. So add a little bit of sriracha. And then you have this beautiful quick faux. So this is my lunch. And this is also a really fun group activity to have if you have friends over, a fun last minute family dinner, if you have some broth ready to go in the fridge. Whatever you have in there, cook up a protein, put out some veggies that you have. It's, you can fill this with rice, with quinoa, farro, rice noodles. It's so versatile. I love recipes where you have really great basics and then you can add a bunch of stuff to it. And this is one of those kinds of recipes. I hope you guys liked it. Thanks for hanging out with me. 
If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know when I put up another video. And I'll see you guys soon. Lunchtime.